सो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स अराउंड फाइव मंथ्स अगो आई हैड पोस्टेड वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव वेयर आई हैड डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मेक ए सुपर सिंपल फाइव मिनट डिजिटल क्लॉक विथ टेस्मोटा यूजिंग एन इन एक्सपेंसिव टी एम सिक्सटीन थर्टी सेवन डिस्प्ले मॉड्यूल आफ्टर दैट वीडियो मैनी ऑफ माई फॉलोअर्स आस्क अबाउट हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट मैक्स सेवन टू वन नाइन डॉट मैट्रिक्स डिस्प्ले इन दिस क्लॉक प्रोजेक्ट सो ऑन देयर रिक्वेस्ट टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ वी कैन यूज ए मैक्स सेवन टू वन नाइन डॉट मैट्रिक्स डिस्प्ले विथ टेस्मोटा रेडी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड If we go through Tasmota documentation, we can see that to use Max Seven to One Nine Dot Matrix Display, we first need to compile a Tasmota binary file with added support for Max Seven to One Nine Matrix module. So let's do that first. If you want to learn more about how to compile a Tasmota binary, you can watch my video number thirty six. Link is provided in the description also. Once we get the compiled tasmota.bin file, open tasmotizer and flash your ESP with it. You can directly download this binary file from the link provided in the description. I am using ESP8266 based Node MCU board here. Once the flashing is done, connect to Tasmota network to provide your Wi-Fi credentials. Upon restart, you will land on this Tasmota dashboard. Now open Configuration, Configure Module, and change Module Type to Generic 18. Again, go to Configure Module. Select D5 as Max 7219 data in or DIN pin. Select D6 as chip select or CS pin. 
and select D7 as the clock or CLK pin. Now save this configuration. Now as per our configuration, let's make connections to the module. First connect VCC and ground pins to V in and ground pins of our ESP module. Now connect DIN pin of display matrix to D5 pin of the ESP module, CS pin to D6 and clock pin to D7. That's it. Now power up your ESP module and open its Tasmota dashboard. Click console. Here we need to type some commands. Type SO65 space 1 and press enter. This command prevents ESP from resetting itself to default settings. Now set your time zone by typing time zone and the time zone of your area. Mine is plus 530. To set width of your display, type display width 32. 32 is the number of dots in a row from left to right. Similarly, to set height, type display height 8. 8 is the number of dots in a column from top to bottom. Now to show the clock, type display clock 1. And a nice looking clock is displayed on the module. To keep the clock off, type display clock 0. and then display clear. To display any text, type display text followed by the text you want to display. To show the clock again, type display clock 1. Working perfect right but there is a problem once you interrupt the power to esp the display will go blank and will not display the clock automatically to resolve this issue we need to create a rule in tasmota type this rule Currently our rule state is off, turn it on by typing rule 1, 1 and now whenever the power is interrupted, the clock will be displayed automatically once the system boots up. So now you have built a standalone digital clock or text board using Max 7219 dot matrix display. Now it's time to configure and prepare it for home assistant. For that, configure your MQTT settings here. Type here the IP address of your home assistant and username and password of your MQTT server here. Now click configure other and give a unique name to your module here. And with this, your Tasmota configuration part is completed. Let's now configure Home Assistant to control this display module from Home Assistant front end. For that, go to Settings, Devices and Services, Integrations, Tasmota. And here you will find your Max 7219 module auto discovered by Tasmota integration. You can test it by turning on or off your display from here. Let's first add this button to the dashboard. Okay. 
So next, we need a text field to send some custom text to the display and two buttons, one to send text and another to show the clock. We will also need a script to clear the display. Let's first create a script to clear the display. For that, go to scripts. Add script, create new script, let's name it clear bedroom display. Give it an icon if you wish to. Then add action, call a service, MQTT publish. For topic, go back to Tasmota dashboard, information, and copy this MQTT full topic. And paste it in the topic field. Then add display clear to it. Now if we run this command, you can see that the display turns off for a second and then turns on again. Why? That's because we need to turn off the clock data first. So instead of display clear, we need to write display clock and set the payload to zero. Now duplicate this action and edit the command to display clear and disable the payload. Now let's test it. Perfect. Now go to settings, devices and services and helpers. Create helper, text, name it text to display and create. Now create a button helper to display clock. Create one more button to display text. Now go back to edit dashboard, edit and add text to display here. Now add another card, horizontal stack and button, change entity to display clock. In tap action, select call service, select MQTT, publish, paste the topic and type display clock and set payload to 1. Now add another card, button, display text, call service. MQTT publish, paste the topic, display text and instead of a static payload here, we will add a payload template to fetch the data from our text helper. So select payload template and write this template. Now add one more card, button, in entity write the name of our script clear br display and finally save it. Let's check it now.
working perfectly fine. Hope I am able to explain it well in an easy to understandable way. Now you can use this metric display in your automations too to display the required message on a trigger. So this was all about this max 7219 dot matrix display. Do check this link for more details on its Tasmota commands. Link is also provided in the description below. In the coming videos, we will use this display further to enhance its usability in our smart home setup. If you like my work, don't forget to motivate me by hitting the like button below. Do comment your queries below or join our telegram group for deep discussion. And at last, if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe VCC Ground for more such unique and practical ideas. Thanks for watching and we will meet in another exciting video soon. Till then, goodbye friends.